I'm Kim Kolueveno, professor of clarinet at the University of North Texas. And here are some principles of intonation for your clarinetists. It's important to understand that the clarinet is inherently out of tune with itself. It has such a wide range of pitches from low to high that there's no way that all of those pitches can be exactly aligned and be in tune. So we have to be sure to tune each register of the clarinet. And we have to do that by adjusting on the clarinet at the point closest to where the sound is coming out. So we need to be sure to adjust from the middle joint and the barrel joint. And if we've adjusted at those two places first and still have some adjustment to make, then we can also adjust from the bell and from the mouthpiece. If we take an initial tuning note of a rehearsal, a band rehearsal or an orchestra rehearsal, it might be a concert B flat. And when I tune that concert B flat, I'm gonna tune both my clarion range and my chalumeau range. And for that initial concert B flat, I'm gonna pull from the middle joint because that's the joint closest to the tube length that I'm trying to affect. If the pitch is sharp to the reference pitch being played, of course, we'll wanna pull out and lengthen the tube length. And if our pitch is flat or lower than the reference pitch, of course, we'll wanna push in to make the tube length shorter. So let me just demonstrate that for you now, having a drone of a concert B flat. If a drone isn't possible, of course it's possible to use the visual dial indicator of a tuner as well. And one last reminder, to play in tone is to play in tune. We always wanna use our best air and our best sound on our tuning pitches. So here's a concert B flat. So as you'll see, the first note I played was high to the reference pitch. So I adjusted by pulling out from the middle joint. I didn't really pull out anywhere else yet. So now I'm gonna take a different tuning pitch in order to adjust my barrel joint. So for this, I like to take a concert F, which happens to be my open G. So I'll do that now, and I'm specifically listening and adjusting from my barrel joint. For that open G, I was actually a little bit low to the tuning pitch, and I pushed in. So you see that it's possible to adjust from both places to affect the register in which we are playing. Let's say that you just did that tuning sequence with your students, and there's still a student that isn't in tune with the rest of the ensemble. Maybe they're too sharp overall or too flat overall. The first thing I would always consider is the air use. Students need to use a fast and focused air, and if they're not doing so, undoubtedly the pitch center will be affected. Embouchure really affects pitch a lot. If a student is using too much upward jaw pressure or pinching, then the pitch is gonna be high overall. And similarly, if their embouchure isn't structured enough and it's too flabby, their pitch will be flat overall. If a student isn't using enough mouthpiece, their pitch will probably be sharp overall because they'll probably be pinching that reed off. If a student has a tongue that's too low in their mouth and isn't voicing the air into the mouthpiece in a fast and focused way, then the pitch will probably be flat. If a reed's too soft, the pitch is probably gonna be a little bit flat. And if the reed's too hard, the pitch is probably gonna be a little bit sharp. If the band room is hot, the pitch is gonna be sharp. And if the band room is cold, the pitch is gonna be flat. So, of course, there are many considerations to playing in tune and to having students hear when they're in tune and be able to adjust. This hopefully gives you some principles to consider in addressing intonation with your students.